Hello everybody from Interpac. We are in front of the open booth. We are at Pavilion 13, stand B31. Waiting for us, Mauro Martinengo, sales director of the company. Some good news at the open booth. Actually, not one, but three. Mauro, which technologies are you showing at your booth today? Hi, Sonia. So here we have uh, three new machines. So uh, we have three different applications of the packaging insulin, especially for the cough. So here uh, uh, we have the Arabella. The Arabella is the new machine, uh, has, uh, has been updated in terms of speed. But one of the main characteristics of this Arabella model it is working with the uh, mono material, uh, fully recyclable, uh, for the packaging the vacuum bricks. It's a mono material in polypropylene. So this one is something new and we are following the direction of the green economy. So, so focus it on sustainability. Absolutely, 100 percent And which are the target, the market target for this machine, about this machine? This machine, the main target is the main target to our, our customers. So at the end are for the coffee industry, for the dry yeast industry and for the other food application that needs to pack uh, uh, the single products or the products uh, in a vacuum bricks. Got it. Let's go to the second one. Yes. The second one is the Kika. We call uh, the Eco Kika. The new machine uh, is something different because uh, we are working with the compostable filter paper in order to produce the hard pot, the soft pot for the coffee industry, the industry or uh, like infusion. But uh, this one is uh, also something very new because we are working with a special application of uh, hydrosoluble material and this one is uh, something that we are moving for the classic uh, our industry in terms of uh, coffee or other things we are moving in the personal care ah so, so in a new sector for open yes this one is uh, we are moving we try to uh, offer something different for the new markets for open I see. And could you explain better, for example, if uh, uh, these products are packaged with hydrosoluble material, what happens when you use this product? So this one is, uh, is uh, hydrosoluble, so that means that uh, the characteristic is just uh, uh, like a pot, but uh, you, uh, you can imagine, you have these pots uh, with, uh, I don't know, the shampoo or other products in your hands, and just with the water in 5-10 minutes, you have already the products able to use it. So this one is something different uh, comparing the, the standard packaging for the uh, gel or for the uh, other uh, application of, uh, for the personal care. Really interesting uh, also because it's no waste. Right, absolutely. No, no waste. waste. No waste. Sustainability again. Yes, 100%. And the third one line? The third line is uh, the Argo 200. The Argo 200 is the machine able to reproduce the uh, Nespresso professional compatible system but uh, the also in this case uh, is something really new because uh, normally the Nespresso professional uh, pods are made uh, with the aluminum film, the standard aluminum film. In this case we have uh, the new film is a compostable but uh, is an oxygen barrier. So we are moving in a certain direction to offer to the customer with the same machine that can work with the standard aluminum film and this compostable material. May I ask you example, for example, relating the coffee, if uh, using this kind of material, I mean the material, the compostable material, there is any decreasing in the flavor? Uh, with the test that we have done and with the test that is done for, uh, our, for the supplier of film, uh, the result is uh, we, don't, we don't have any information in terms of taste. So the, uh, the customer are sure on the percent that this material can protect the coffee aroma and you don't have uh, any changements in terms of the characteristic of the coffee that you are packing great, inside. Great, great. So we can have a very good quality packaged in a very perfect way, considering also the trends of the eco-sustainability. So Mauro, we are at the second day of Interpack. You have a very huge and very roomy booth, very, very nice. Thank you so Congrats. much. Thank you so much. And also very busy. Could you explain, could you share with our audience uh, how was also the, the last, the first day of Interpack? The first day has been very interesting. So uh, normally, uh, so due to our experience, uh, normally the first day is not uh, so busy as it was yesterday. Really, uh, we receive a lot of uh, visitors for uh, our actual customers, 
that we have already signed uh, the, the different appointments, but also with the new customer. Uh, it's been very interesting, and as you see uh, around, there are a lot of people that are coming, so uh, we are very excited about this one. Uh, people uh, approved the layout of our booth, so uh, up to now, so we are uh, very happy about this exhibition. Great, great. So, relating the next appointment, the next exhibition appointment, have you planned any other? Oh, we are planning uh, a lot of other exhibitions. So, uh, mainly, uh, you know, the, the main exhibition will be the host in Milan because uh, we, are, we are working much more in the focus of the coffee industry. But uh, we, are, we will be present in the mice in, uh, in Australia. We will move in another, uh, in another exhibition. So, we have to be present. We try to be present. Uh, as much as possible uh, all, all over the world because uh, the customer likes to be uh, directly involved in their markets. Got it, got it. So I want to thank you Open, Mauro Martinengo and I give you the appointment at Ost in Milan. Thank you. I would like to thank you very much Sonia uh, for this uh, opportunity and I would like to invite you all, uh, all the customers to come and join us and to see our, uh, our news machine. Thank you so much. Thank you Sonia.